Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about something that was extremely frustrating for me and hopefully no one else has to go through, but if you're in the same situation like I am, hopefully this video can help you out and hopefully you can have your planer up and running. So let's, let's get into it. So what we got here is a DeWalt 734 thickness planer. And the main reason I got this is when I started making tables using epoxy, I wanted something to give me a flat edge and basically take all the hard work of using a belt sander, making it nice and flat and even. And this has done the trick and it's worked for me for a couple months now. It's working great. Um, I noticed that the blade in a couple of my recent projects wasn't necessarily cutting the best. And sometimes when I would run stuff through it, it gets stuck which is a telltale sign that your blade needs to be changed. So I got my blade changed, but there's a little story behind this. And looking at these screws right here can tell you a little bit and the scuff marks and all that stuff. Long story short, I tried to get the screws out. I ended up getting four out, but it stripped my bit quite a bit as you can see right here. So it was kind of difficult to get those four out. The other four, basically, I tried watching YouTube videos on it to get it out. I saw someone use a Dremel to cut it and use a chisel. It didn't quite work out. Um, so I have a woodworking buddy across the street. He also does metal work. And we were able to weld nuts to them and strip them out that way. That worked wonderful. And I want to thank him a lot because that was the only way I'm going to get this planer back up and run. So me using my DIY mindset, I went to Home Depot thinking, hey, I bought this planer from Home Depot. They probably have the same machine screws that I need to replace it. And they did it. And they sold me these guys that were M6. And they were similar, but they have just a little bit bigger of a head. And I was thinking, okay, well, I'll give this a shot, see what happens. And this is what happened. As you can see, because the heads stick out, they leave their mark in your wood as you're running it through, which obviously is hurtful for your piece. So in order to get your planer up and running, I had to go to Amazon and I found these. And they're actually from Black & Decker, but they sell them with a new wrench too. So I'm gonna throw those in Hopefully we can get the planer up and running and enjoy. So before we put in the new machine screws, let's talk a little bit about Loctite. Now I'm sure most of you know about Loctite, but in the off chance you don't, this is what I recommend, especially for this job, is Blue 242. So the blue one, it's just going to make it so the machine screw can't walk backwards and unlock itself basically. However, when you go to remove the screw, it's not going to be difficult, it's going to come right out. If you use the red one, or I've seen a black one too, it's permanent and it's going to be very difficult to get it removed. got that fixed it's looking great and feeling great too those new blades really do make a difference so it's important to change your blades as you can see my pieces weren't getting stuck it came out really really smooth 
which is awesome. And the best part is, I shouldn't have to deal with that anymore because now that I have removed those screws and only put on blue Loctite, I think I should be good. So this kit is definitely worth it. It was like $27, I'll put the link in the comments below. It's a pretty penny, but compared to a $500 planer, 27 bucks to maintain it, pretty simple. And I have quite a few screws left over just in case anything else happens. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully you don't have a planer down for a couple weeks like I did and we can get back to making wood projects. Thanks.